All right, we're live. Hello, everybody on YouTube and in the GHL Mastery and VIP groups. We're streaming this everywhere, and I'll have to make one quick comment. I looked at my stats on YouTube, and I noticed that the vast majority of you people watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you are watching this on YouTube, do me a huge, massive favor. If you like what we're putting out here, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let us know that we're putting out stuff that you want to see and that is helpful to you. Let's get into it. So uh, over the last couple of days, I've had two or three people ask me like, hey, how do you set up an affiliate program within Go High Level? So there are a lot of different affiliate options out there. Um, first promoter is a really good one. Um, but high level, being high level, they wanted to create something that could compete with those things. And so I'm going to show you guys how to set up your affiliate manager within high level so that you can have other people sell your stuff for you. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. And we're going to go from start to finish. There are a couple of nuances to this that if you don't know them, you're probably going to sign people up and they're not going to get their affiliate links and all of that fun stuff. So let's go through it step by step and show you guys how to create an affiliate program for your products, for your services, whatever the case may be. Let's dive in. All right. And again, let me know if you're watching this live. I always like to know if I'm helping people live on or not. Um, but let's dive in. So if you go into your marketing tab, you will have your affiliate manager right here. So you could see that we have a couple of campaigns, one's for our agency estimator um, affiliates and one's for our VIP group. And this one was a old test one that I don't really use. Um, and within these, you can create different types of commission payouts and things like that. Um, and it'll also then give you a report of who's selling what for you, who's your top, of, who's your top affiliate, and so on and so forth. Um, this is relatively new to me. I literally just created these probably two weeks ago. Um, so while I have some affiliates, I don't have any leads because my affiliates aren't selling my stuff yet. So if you're an affiliate of mine, please do share. Um, all right, let's go and create a new campaign. So we're going to hit add. Um, I've got a couple of snapshots um, that I can create an affiliate program for. So let's do our webinar snapshot affiliate we're just going to name it. We're going to select a funnel. So you're just going to select whether it's on a funnel or a website. Um, now, to be clear before we do this, you do need to have a funnel created. You do need to have a product created and you need to have that product being sold on a funnel. Uh, if you don't do that, obviously this will not work. So now we're going to go and we're going to select the page that we want. We've got our snapshot library and we're going to go into our webinar automation snapshot. So this is telling the system, this is the URL that you want to send people to with the affiliate ID on it. So let's go ahead and add the product. So we're gonna go and find the webinar automation snapshot like so. You can add a description, um, the last webinar snapshot you will ever need. And it's only $97. So if you uh, want this one, you can go to agency.estimator.tool slash webinar dash snapshot and purchase it yourself. Um, you can manually add affiliates here, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna show you guys how to do this yourselves. Um, and then you can go payout frequency. Now this is net 15, net 30, net 60. So this is saying, if you sign up an affiliate, we're not gonna pay you for at least 30 days, um, which is pretty standard. So we're gonna do net 30. And then you've got two commission type options. So you can either do a percentage base or you can do a flat fee commission. So um, I always like percentage base, let's just say 20%. That's a good one. Now this one right here, the default email template. Now this is the default template that high level sells. So this is what you're going to see. Um, the thing that I don't like about this is that the from email is actually high levels do not reply slash something lead uh, But I want any of my affiliate emails to come from my own white label domain. And so we're going to change this up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I won't do that right now. Um, and that's where a lot of the nuances come in. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, stick around. We're going to cover that. So I'm going to leave it at default for now. Now, Cookie Life is how long. So if, if you were one of my affiliates and you shared one of my affiliate links, how long do you want that link to, to really matter in order to capture that um, affiliate? So for me, I usually do like 45 days. So if they don't buy within 45 days, um, it will basically reset and then your affiliate won't get um, won't get contributions for them referring them to you. So you can set your cookie life there. 
and then you can go ahead and create the campaign. So now we've got the campaign. It is currently paused at the moment, which is totally fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and build out a couple of different things. Now, the way that we have our setup is that we have a form on our site where you can register for our affiliate programs. And on that form, we've got a custom field. And I'm just going to go do a quick search for that. Affiliate programs. We're going to edit this right now. And again, you can do this how you want to, but I'm just going to add a new one. And this is a webinar snapshot affiliate. And then I just like to put 20%. This is just a one-time thing. So it's not an MRR, but it's just a 20% one-time thing. So I'm going to add that to my custom field. And I'm going to show you why I do that. So let's go back and let's go into our sites. Let's go into our affiliate signup page and let's just go over here. So we've got all of our different affiliate pages are all basically built into one. So you can pick which one you want to do. So become an affiliate. And then we've got which affiliates you want to actually sign up for. So we would do this one and then name, email, phone number, and then click become an affiliate. And then the thank you page pops up and everything like that. So that's how we do it because we have multiple different affiliate programs. Um, so let's, go to that form, which is our affiliate registration form. So here's what we need now need to do to make this thing work the way that we want it to. I'm going to start in marketing and I'm going to start in emails and then templates, because what I've done is I've created affiliate templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this because I've already got it built and we're just going to change the name of it to our webinar snapshot affiliates. I like to do things the easy way. So here's the nuance. When I first built this, I was just ripping my hair out because I couldn't get this email to say what I wanted it to say. And it was because I was not using the correct values here. I was using the standard contact dot name and it would not populate any of that information. Um, and so this email ended up being blank. So what you want to do is affiliate dot name. And that will then work. And what you can do, this is obviously in the new email builder. So I want to show you this as well. Um, you've got your custom values right up here. And when you're building uh, an email, you will have access to all of the custom values. Whereas if you're building an email into a workflow, for example, uh, you will only see the custom fields that your trigger will allow you to see. So I wanted to build this through here. So you just go down into your affiliate manager and then you've got your affiliate full name. You've got, so that's affiliate.name, affiliate.first underscore name, and so on and so forth. Um, you've got your campaign name, your commission value, and your affiliate link, which are all super important. So we're going to, I'm not actually going to do this right now for the sake of time, but you would then obviously create your email, um, letting people know that they've signed up for your program. Um, we've got your affiliate campaign name, which is the one that we just named over there. Um, and then you will receive, and then it's going to show the affiliate commission, which is 20%, but this one is not MRR. So I'm going to delete that. And here is your link to start earning your commissions. So now I'm just going to go quickly and I'm going to go to my settings and I'm going to say, thank you for joining the webinar snapshot affiliate program. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. And I'm going to hit save just for the sake of time and simplicity. So there we go. We've got a super simple email, but I definitely wanted to show you guys that you need to use the affiliate custom fields in order for this to work. If you don't do that, it will not work, which is super annoying. So save the template. Now we're going to go back and we're going to start to develop our workflow for this. So let's go to automations. Let's go to affiliates. Now I've already got a couple. Um, so I'm going to actually duplicate one of these and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So we're going to do a webinar snapshot affiliates, hit create. So let's dive into this one and get it done. So right now we've got the affiliate VIP form that we just updated. And what we're going to do is we're going to change that custom field to show the webinar snapshot. So basically if this form gets filled out and the webinar snapshot affiliate is selected, this workflow is going to fire. So that's our trigger for this. And we're going to change the tag. 
because we want to make sure that we tag everything appropriately. Webinar snapshot affiliate. Copy that. Add the tag. And then I'm just going to change the name of it. I like to keep everything organized so that if I ever need to know what's going on, I can. Um, add to affiliate campaign. We're going to come in here and we're going to choose the campaign that we just selected. Click save. And then I just leave this as I just update the affiliate to active. So now whenever somebody fills out that form, it is going to create an affiliate for them. Um, and it's just going to add them to that campaign, which is great. So now the last step that we need to do to make sure that our email works is we are going to go back into marketing and we're going to go back into the affiliate manager and go to campaigns. Now from here, we've got our webinar affiliate campaign, but we're still using the same old default template from high level. We want to change that to the one that we just created. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find my affiliate Welcome. Where is it? Webinar snapshot. There we go. So now that is going to send that email out automatically. Um, you don't need to add that to a workflow. It's just going to send the email for you right out of the gate. Um, and then the workflow is basically what adds them to the affiliate program and gets everything set up. Now I'm just going to update that campaign and then I'm going to turn it on. Uh, why is it doing that? It says that I don't have any affiliates. It should work because I need affiliates to sign up for this. Let's try this again. This campaign doesn't have any affiliates added to it, please. Okay, so I'm just gonna add myself. Here we go, added myself, update campaign, and let's turn this bad boy on. There you go. So now we've got an affiliate for this. Now, another question that came up was like, okay, I set all this up and it didn't work properly. Um, how do I do this? to make it work properly. People didn't get their links. How do I find their links? Um, what do I do? And so basically you're gonna click on the affiliate manager. You're gonna to go to your affiliates. I'm gonna find myself. And this is the one I'm at right here. So you can see right here that I'm added to multiple different affiliate campaigns. So let's click on me. And if you wanna get the links to your affiliate programs that you need, to, if you need to send them manually, you can select, let's just go to the one we created, webinar snapshot, and there is the affiliate link for that specific campaign. Um, so a little bit of digging around, but that's where you're gonna go to find the affiliate link if you ever needed to send it manually. Um, and then you can obviously change that and get the different links and so on and so forth. Um, so there you go, guys. That is how to do it. Um, somebody on Facebook, can you do a zero payout just to track referrals for real estate? Um, I have another video on YouTube, so I will reply to your comment, Facebook user, I don't know who you are, um, in the group, and I will show you how to do that. Um, it's kind of just hacking the system with using this ref URL and having a hidden field on your form that auto-populates the affiliate ID um, into that particular form. So I've done it with calendars. Um, like I said, I will link the video to that. Um, if I ever figure out how to do that on YouTube, I'll link it in the YouTube video. And for the Facebook user who asked the question, I will send you the video for that as well in the Facebook group. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that was helpful and we will see you on the next one. Take care.